Hello all, welcome to Civil Engineering Education. So in this video we are going to discuss the estimate of a soak pit. So this is the figure of soak pit. So in general we construct almost in every house. Okay. So this is soak pit section and we are going to estimate this one. So this is the table of detailed estimate. So in this we are going to calculate different items of calculation like earthwork excavation, brick masonry for side walls, brick bats, 80 mm jelly, 40 mm jelly, gravel and RCC slab for cover. So here you can see this is top cover slab. These are brick masonry walls and these are different zones. Okay, gravel zone, 40 mm. 80 mm brick pads so these are all filled with materials so these materials and depths are given and diameter is given here okay 1500 mm so for this we are going to do the calculation now first item of calculation is earthwork excavation for soak pit up to bottom of brick masonry is one part below brick masonry is another part so first item of calculation will be earthwork excavation. This is ground level. So in general soak, soak pit will be constructed below ground level only. So from here we have to start the digging process till here. Okay. So what is the complete depth? So if we add all these dimensions, we will get the complete depth of excavation. Right. And from ground level to bottom of brick masonry so brick masonry is constructed only up to here right so from here to here we will consider as part one and from here to here we will consider as part two so part one of excavation from here to here part two of excavation from here to here okay so the same thing i have written up to bottom of brick masonry and below masonry work so numbers will be one so same like the earthwork excavation area of a circle multiplied by depth pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square multiplied by two depths right so up to bottom of brick masonry what is the diameter and depth we will see so from here to here right this is the depth here you can see this is the depth you can see this is 0 0.8 meters and the diameter is 1.5 meter is this diameter so from here to here it is 1.5 meter additionally we need to add this 300 mm 300 mm 1500 mm plus 300 mm plus 300 mm is 2.1 diameter will be 2.1 from here to here and depth will be this one 0 0.8 so the same thing I have written pi by 4 capital D square that is nothing but 2.1 square multiplied by depth we got the quantity okay area of a circle multiplied by depth is equal to quantity same like below masonry work from here to bottom so diameter will be 1.5 okay and depth we have to calculate from here to here how can we calculate we can calculate the complete depth from here to bottom so total depth minus this one if you do this we will be getting 3.1 meter so pi by 4 into diameter is 1.5 3.1 is the depth below mass entry work so we got the quantity as 5.47 meter cube so total quantity same like brick mass entry so brick mass entry is calculated by the same formula pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square so this is the uh, formula to calculate pi by 4 capital D square minus small d square. The, if you do this, we will get the area multiplied by depth. We will get the volume. So what is capital D here from this end to this end is capital D 2.1. This end to this end it is small d. It is 1.5. So 2.1 square minus 1.5 square. Right. So this is 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.1, 2.
this is 1.5 meter so these two are diameters if you do this calculation we will get the quantity and brick masonry depth is from here to here only total 800 minus 100 is 700 mm so same thing i have written in case of brick masonry work pi by 4 multiplied by 2.1 square minus 1.5 square multiplied by 0 0.7 i got the quantity as this one so remaining brick bats brick bats 80 mm jelly 40 mm jelly gravel and cover slab so these all are same so these are all same like earthwork excavation only pi by 4 d square so let's take gravel diameter is 1.5 meter okay so pi by 4 d square this is the area of this circle multiplied by depth if we do this we will get the quantity of this gravel right so this one this one this one and this one all are done with the same formula this one okay here you can see in the estimate pi by 4 d square 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 what is changing here only depth is changing 0 0.6 1.8 0.8 0.6 okay here you can see 0 0.6 1.8 0.8 0.6 so only depths are changing formula will be this one only right so if we do that calculation pi by 4 d square multiplied by depth we will get the quantity now let's see rcc slab for cover so this is nothing but cover slab so the diameter of this one is 2.1 meter because internal to internal it is 1.1 sorry 1.5 and this is 300 this is 300 so it will be 2.1 same formula pi by 4 d square is nothing but 2.1 multiplied by depth depth is equal to 100 mm so here you can see pi by 4 into 2.1 square pi by 4 d square multiplied by depth so we got 0 0.35 cubic meter as the quantity so this is the procedure how we will calculate the estimate for a soak pit this is very very simple so in case if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section so if you like the video hit the like button and show your support thanks for watching